Welcome back to another video with Special League Freedom here. Today we're going to have another What Sold video and why is this important to you? Because this way you might be able to sell the same things I am for the same profit, make that money, make that cash uh, as we're all eBay or other platform resellers. Now I'm going to do a Macari versus eBay, see which one made out on top. And surprisingly, not every time eBay beats Macari. There have been times where they beat them, so let's find out today. And at the end, I'm gonna show what the giveaway item is that I'll be giving away when I hit 100 subscribers. So we're kicking off a Macari today. First thing up is actually another belt buckle. This is part of that giant lot sale. So this one does have a scratch, uh, but it is brass. Uh, it's actually really small, but it is a Longhorn. Uh, I bought this, uh, I probably paid $2 for it, but it did sell for $10. So not complaining, I made a quick profit on that one. Easy sale. Belt buckles for me have been flying off the shelf. And a tip for that is actually turquoise. Turquoise belt buckles, I've sold one for $50 now. Turquoise belt buckles are in. Anything turquoise seems to be doing really well, just a heads up. Next up, Friday, <clears throat> Five Nights at Freddy's shirt. This one does glow in the dark. Uh, I picked this up for about $1.50 uh, at my Goodwill. It did sell, full asking, $25. It took 60 days though. I did have offers coming in, but fr Five Nights at Freddy's, I always say the name wrong for some reason does really well for me and always flips and always makes good money. So if you find something about this, like a plush or something like that, it always does very well. So just something you might want to pick up yourself. Next up, uh, this was popular not that long ago. <laughs> it's actually a Mandalorian shirt. This one's actually kind of cool. Uh, it's a little bit unique. Uh, I haven't found a lot like this, but it is a good size XL. Uh, I picked this up for 50 cents. Now this one I would not pick up again. It sat for 110 days. And as you all know, 90 days is my goal. So I am no longer picking up Mandalorian. And I can honestly say, I'm not picking up any Star Wars. Star Wars for me just sits around on my shelves. It kills me. I don't know about anybody else. I mean, I have stuff marked down all the way to $5 and it's still just sitting there. So I'm done with them. Uh, but now we're gonna go switch over to eBay. Let's kick it off with some easy stuff. Uh, a Brugal, I think is how you call it, hat. Uh, this is another bundle one. Uh, it's in really good condition, but Brugal is just a rum. A lot of people actually don't know about it. Uh, it sold for five bucks, not complaining. Probably paid 75 cents for it, so not at all. Now, the next hat up is actually a 2014 NBA hat, locker room edition. So that's how you can tell with the little trophy. It does actually still have the new tag and the sticker, pretty much brand new condition. Downside of this, if this was an adult, this is about a $100 hat, but it's not. This is a kid's. I still picked it up with the hopes I can make a decent profit. I picked it up. And it sat for about the last 78 days and it sold for 20 bucks, even new with tags. So again, I don't usually pick up kid stuff. This was just one of those unique items that is super rare for adults. So I figured it might do well for kids. I did make a good profit off of it, but I probably wouldn't pick up another kid's hat because again, kid stuff does itself. I mean, next up, a Domino's employee, XL, not complaining. Simple, another little tag on the back. Domino's employee stuff does really well for me. I have sold over 20 of these exact shirts. I was picking up my thrift store for 50 cents. Uh, this sold actually higher than most, $17. Uh, and the main reason is, I don't know what this actually is, this little tag. I think it's just for your pen holder or your thermometer. I don't know, but anytime it has that, it usually goes 15 plus. Anytime it doesn't have that, it goes for about 10 to 12. So just something to be aware of if you're looking out for it. Now this one's actually a pretty rare find. Next up, it is a South Pole. Now, this one's a great size, right? Double XL, but this one is the terry cloth. So I know that's a little bit hard to see in the video, but it's actually like kind of like a felt. Uh, this one, terry felt ones do extremely well. So I picked this up for two bucks at my Goodwill and I put it up for $40. Now I know that sounds like a lot, especially for South Pole, uh, but I've seen a lot of these go for that. Uh, it did sit for 95 days, but I did take an offer at $35. So almost full asking, uh, it's a good, Good profit margin but if you find the terry cloth one definitely pick that up that one always does really well that's what this is but this one doesn't have the exact color scheme that's doing really well which is red and black but it still made a huge profit margin so just something to be aware of terry cloth does extremely well next up it's actually a pretty cool one it's aztec again picked this up my goodwill now this one i paid five dollars for so that's a little bit more than i usually like to pay especially for button down shirts they don't do very well and especially when it's not snap on so if it's a, like you know a pearl snap I'm definitely picking that up, they do really well. But the main reason is made in USA and it's a size large. But like I've always said, Aztec style is in, in style, go figure. Uh, <laughs> pick up 
paid five dollars it did sell for 25 dollars in under three weeks so again not a bad pickup next up i have a pretty kind of cool one a little unique it's actually a denny shirt it's vintage uh i was able to find it it's made in mexico uh, I picked this up for 50 cents. It did sell after, it was 70 days, full asking though, $20. So good pick up there. Uh, had another <laughs> Sonic employee one, picked this up for 50 cents. As you all know, I have sold uh, at least five of these, right? So this one did sell on a best offer. I posted it for 15, it sold for 12, not complaining. Next one up, this one I paid $2 for at a Goodwill. It is not vintage. So this is a Volbeat double XL. Volbeat is a band, it's a metal band, kind of a hard rock one. I've listened to them when I was a lot younger. Um, they do sell really well, uh, but this one was actually, this one was sold at Walmart. Uh, I didn't know that when I picked it up, but it did sell for $15, so not complaining at all. I guess they cost a little bit more at the store, don't know, but not complaining. Next up, Southern Tide. So, uh, as many people didn't know, um, Goodwill Finds, I think is the one that you can buy online. So I did a bulk buyout on their website because they had free shipping and I went in the clearance section. So I got a ton of stuff. And I mean, 40 items for like $150. This was my lowest profit margin I know I'm gonna take on that. Uh, this sold for $10, so not complaining, especially when I only paid $2 for it. Uh, but that was something really cool that came out uh, during the holidays or around that time. You definitely wanna be on the lookout because Goodwill Finds, is it's the one that you just buy now it's not the auction one the auction one's a little bit different but the one that you can buy it now they do a lot of great sales so even like right now i think they're running if you spend 50 you get 20 off so it's kind of like free shipping but that's one of the one items i picked up i picked up a lot of good items i know are going to sell quick i've already got a lot of offers on them uh but that's just something to be aware of uh if it's a holiday or something coming up check that website out i mean you can bulk buy a ton of stuff like i said i got some crazy deals and that was just one of them that only sold for 10 bucks I know I could have got more for it, but I'm trying to move that inventory and make that space because I'm actually running out of space. So not complaining. Last item. Now I know if you're into belt buckles, you've seen a lot of these. This is the Red Man belt buckle. Uh, it's a chewing tobacco. Now the cool one about this is this one actually is marked 1988 on the back. So 1988 belt buckle. This is again, part of that bulk buyout. So I probably spent $2 on this one specifically just based on weight because I bought it based off weight. This thing sold for 20 bucks. Now, if you go look right now, there's a ton for sale for about 12, 11. I don't know how I got that for 20 bucks. I posted it for 20 to see what would happen, sold immediately. So I know there's a lot of different ones with different um, years on it, and that's something you wanna definitely look out for. So that one was a good pickup for me, uh, just because it was 1988. And last but not least, what I am doing for my 100 subscriber giveaway is actually a belt buckle. Now this one I actually was gonna keep for myself. It's kind of cool. Uh, it has a big golden eagle in the middle. It is almost a new condition. It has a red leather interior. Thought it'd be something cool, especially, you know, it's summer season. If I'm able to hit 100 subscribers during this summer season, I thought it'd be a great thing to give away because uh, a lot of people don't have a belt buckle and I thought it'd be something different for a lot of people. So that's all I got for today. Drop down in the comments how your sales are doing. Let me know what you're selling. If you're having good profit margins, I mean, the last two weeks for me have just picked up I mean, I was down maybe one to two sales, sales a day. Now I'm back up to five to 10 a day, actually. And this was just today. I had a 14 day, and Fridays are actually not good for me usually. Tuesdays are really good for me for some odd reason, and Saturdays are usually really good for me. Sundays, I don't do very well, and Fridays, I don't do very well. So this is a great day for me, but let me know how you're doing. Other than that, have a good day. Oh, yeah.